There's an expectation that when this conflict stops, that Benjamin Netanyahu's government will collapse and there could be new leadership in Israel. Do you think that if that happens, it's a big if, that could lead to a more permanent uh, stop in this violence or even potentially peace in the next few months or years? Um, Well, so what we've seen is um, in Israel, the large protests, uh, many, many in Tel Aviv, where uh, the people are saying, this is not the leadership we want. This is not um, who, this is not the representation we want. This is not the, uh, um, this is not who we are. They're ready for Netanyahu um, to be gone and for his administration to be gone. Uh, thousands of people, including families of the hostages. You know, we have to remember some of these folks are families of hostages who are protesting, you know, so leadership is credi- incredibly important. And we know that the far right Netanyahu government is not meeting the needs of the Israeli people. And there's no reason for us to be supporting this far right government, even though that's what is happening. Um, and the thing is this, we can't run against far right Trump and bold influences in our government and then run towards far right Netanyahu and Bolton influences in Israel. And, and um, so having that consistency, that consistency, I believe, is what the people will be looking for. And so when it's time for them to vote in the next, you know, the next leader, um, I believe that they'll be looking for that. They'll be looking for someone with that consistency, someone to stand on the side of humanity in the humanity of all people, Israelis and Palestinians. And um, because to me, when I look at these uh, the, the the clips and the videos of the protests, um, I believe that that is what they're saying. 